What's going on, fishing buddy? I am checking out a new spot today, and I'm doing the intro from the truck because I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be here. This spot's supposed to hold peacock bass and clown knife fish, so we're gonna check it out. Stay tuned. All right. What I'm gonna use is the Banger 110. This is the sexy shad color. You know, some, some stuff popping around. I don't know. Let's see. Peacocks right here. We're gonna make him angry enough here. Yeah, it's working. Just gotta keep working him. He'll eventually get mad enough to hit it. If he stays here, usually they stay. I can see him. He's starting to get a little bit more angry here. Now we're starting to, now we're starting to make him mad. Starting to get a little more aggressive towards it. Got him, got him. Ooh, he's a fighter. Nice. Foul hooked him here. All right. Peacock bass. And these guys do not calm down for nothing. So there he is. I was trying for him for a minute there. He got him hooked good. All right. Got him undone. Let's take a look at him here. So that's a male. Let me get that in the sun so you guys can see it here. There we go. So that's a male, you can tell he's got the little hump starting here on the head. They get that when they start spawning. Pretty dot on his tail. All right, well, at least that's one of the species. At least that's one of the species that uh, I wanted to come and get today. Pretty fish. All right, buddy. So what I'm doing, what I'm doing guys is I am letting this suspending jerk bait just sink down. There's a number of peacock that are sitting right here on this bed and they're starting to get a little bit more aggressive towards the bait and just cause I've been working it for so long. So I'm letting it sink and then they'll come and look at it. I'll give it a twitch. They're on it. They're just not committing to it yet. Eventually, I think what'll happen is I'll make them mad enough to hit it. And the reason why I'm using the suspending jerk bait is because I've got nine hooks, so I've got a better chance of getting a hook up here. Swatted at it. Swatted at it. stay off the bank just a little more it makes it a little bit harder for me to see them but maybe that'll be the difference here they're here oh, oh man
Got that one. Oh, man. Wasn't hooked good enough. Damn. Blew that spot up now. Oh. All right, so I'm at spot number two. That first spot was all right. I mean, I managed to catch one and then uh, lost that one at the bank. But uh, other than that, I mean, it kind of died out. So made a move and we're at spot number two. This spot does hold some peacock bass. So we'll see if we can get on some and uh, see if we can continue our day. Stay tuned. There we go. Ah. Well, not the target species. But that is a Mayan cichlid. These little guys got teeth. Oh, bye bye. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Peacock number two on the day. That's a pretty one. I've been seeing them. I'm hooked. And he's waking back towards the water. I got a hook in my hand. Oh, and he's in. Dang it. Oh, I wish I could have got my hands on him. But that hook was in my hand. Ow. I did get it out, though. Thank God the barb didn't go in. Cool to check out some new spots and uh, fish in new areas and see if I can locate some more peacock bass in the uh, the local areas up by me without having to travel too far south. So managed to find a few. It was pretty cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Check out more peacock bass fishing right here. I'll catch you guys in the next one.